Hi everyone, so today we'll be having a look at these new fans from Corsair, these are the QX120 RGB, this is the starter kit with three fans and then we will be having a look also at the new type of connection that Corsair brings with these new fans here. So without further ado, let's dive into what comes inside the box. Alright, before unboxing and everything, here on this corner we can check some details on what are the new things that comes with these fans. Okay, we have 34 LEDs, we have also on the QL the same amount of LEDs, so this is the new here. We have the new kind of connection which is called IQ Link, we will get to that in a minute. Time sensor which is integrated into the fans and then we have some specs here, as we can see 120mm for 25mm, maximum to 2400rpm, also the noise of the fans. All right, inside the box there are the three fans as we can see they are pre-connected already and if you want to remove it you have to just light it as so. Keep in mind that these are magnetic so you will feel a little bit of resistance when you are trying to remove the fans here. Here we have also the controller. Since this is a starter kit it comes with this small controller. Uh, let's check what else we have in the box. So here it what comes inside the box. The three fans already connected that we have. This is the controller. We will get to that one in a minute. This is the cable, the proprietary cable cable by Corsair that you have to connect this to one side of the fans and the other side to the controller itself. We will check that the connection in a minute also. And here we have the USB cable for connecting to the motherboard header. And here we have the power cable. This is a six pin here and also a six pin here. So this is going to draw around 150 watts if I'm not wrong. So you have to connect this one to a cable that is coming out from your power supply. And here we have some screws for screwing the fans to your case. And here we have these plastic covers so once you connect one side of the fans to the control and with the cable the other one for covering all this one for preventing the dust to enter inside here and for giving a more aesthetic looks you can use these covers to cover this right so here we have the three fans so let's check one of them so as we can see these are similar to the ql fans there are certain differences for example here we have this kind of rgb window all the light comes from here and is reflected over here we these are the rubber for when you install it on your case so it's going to prevent vibration and sounds one interesting thing that i really appreciate is this temperature sensor that we have this is going to allow you to trigger certain speed of the fans itself when a certain temperature is inside your case or outside depending on which side you install this but the most important thing of these fans as we have seen is that you can run up to 14 if i'm not wrong of these fans with only one cable just linking between the fans using this connector here as we can see this is the connector you don't have to be worried about the side of the connector uh, you can use it in whatever side is in and out you don't have to find one side of this connector here just plug it here and then plug it with the other fan so as we can see the material is re a really good material and this feels pretty solid so we have a certain changes in design so let me show you for example the ql which was the most one of the most premium fans from Corsair. so as we can see we have certain differences in the design between the ql and the qx fans all this shape here is inside the, um, the body of the fan and, and if we can check here we have these differences here so all the shape of the fan itself where are the RGBs and everything else is kind of outside of the shape of all the fan and of course we have two cables here here we don't have nothing with all said let's check how we can connect these fans to the controller and to our PC so the first thing first that you have to do is to use the provided cable this is a 600 millimeter cable you can have one cable of 100 millimeters for free because as you check the Corsair website you can request it over there so you can connect this cable on this side of the fans or on the other side it, it doesn't matter which side you are going to use to connect the cable to the fans or to the controller it will always work so let me connect the cable as we can see here easily and the other side of this cable here we have to connect to the controllers on the controller we have two ports the port here on this side and the other side speaking about the controller before we connect everything let's have a quick look as we can see on one side we can connect seven devices and on the other side other seven devices for a total of 14 devices here we have the power cable here we have the micro usb it's 2023 maybe type c usb port would have been nice and this one is used is a connector that you can use when you have the all-in-one cooler from corsair because the same control uh, it's provided inside the all-in-one so this one you you will have a cable here to that 
you have to connect to the CPU header on your motherboard for not causing any errors on the BIOS. So let's connect this cable here. As we can see, you have to pop it here really easy. And the next thing we want to do is to connect the power cable here. And on this side, you have to connect it to the power cable, which is coming out from your power supply. And here we have the USB port. And here we go. As you can see, it takes only one minute to connect everything. So let's connect the hub to the computer and check settings on the IQ software. Before diving into the IQ settings, I wanted to ask you guys a huge favor. Almost 90% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. In case you did like the content, I would highly appreciate if you consider subscribing. It takes one second to click on the subscribe button and that will help a lot the channel and allow me to bring more content like this. Thanks a lot. Alright guys, here we have our link system and also the fans installed on IQ. Let's go through some settings. If you click on the device settings on the link system hub, the only two things you can change is check for updates or change the brightness of the fans as we can see from 100% to 0%. Go back to the fan settings. So if you click on over the fans and then you can check some uh, settings. So as we can see here, we have different lighting effects. You can sync with all the IQ devices if you have other IQ devices or you can choose one of your effects one of your presets here or you can custom light all the leds and whatever else here we have this new thing which is called time wrapped so you can if you want you can enable this one and then you can see this funny effect on the fans it seems that they are not spinning but actually they are spinning so this is a nice effect if you want to enable that i will disable it at the moment so and then the other lighting is when you close iq then you can apply certain effects on the fans here you can choose between a lot of presets or you can also enable here the time wrap on all the fans by enabling here on this setting then you can choose the colors the opacity and whatever else you can choose the static or clockwise or counterclockwise as we can see it's nice this, this is a nice effect and here on the cooling you can choose one of these presets or you can create your custom preset here as we can see you can choose between fixed percent and fixed rpm or the custom curve and, or a custom curve and then you can choose between for example the packages or your aio or whatever else you have and here as we can see we have the temperature sensor for each fan and here we have the on the tab alert we have the tab that you have some alerts on depending on the temperature that each fan is reaching here so that's all for the iq settings so you can really have tons and tons of rgb combinations and don't forget also the cooling combinations and cooling settings because that is the most important thing on a fan of course so that's all for the settings on iq that's all for this video guys as we can see this new system by corsair brings a lot of cool features and finally we can have rgb fans and not lose our minds with the cable management but this new iq link ecosystem is not cheap this starter kit costs 160 dollars if you want to add a single fan then that will cost you 50 dollars 60 for the 140 millimeter let me know in the comments down below what do you think about these new fans and the new connection system by corsair if you find this video helpful consider subscribing hit the like button and don't forget to enable the notifications thanks a lot for your support and Thanks for watching.